back to wrestling world. We have some interesting topics to dive into today concerning Aaliyah, as well as another situation between Miro and Lana. So let's start things off with Aaliyah. Aaliyah has been making some reoccurring appearances on Raw over the last few weeks. And the question we kept asking was, what will her role be? Is she just making a few guest appearances or is she an official WWE on-screen character now? Well, we're going on four weeks and Aaliyah has been on Raw and we might have just got confirmation this week on Aaliyah's first major storyline. Aaliyah appeared once again at ringside for Dominic's cage match with Seth Rollins. But there was one brief moment that happened after the match that everyone picked up on and has everyone talking. After Seth Rollins wasn't happy with Murphy's work during the cage match, Rollins attacked Murphy and left him laid out at ringside while Aaliyah was walking inside the ring to join the rest of her family. She paused and rested her hand on Murphy's shoulder to check on him. It was a short moment, but everyone picked up on what they were teasing here. WWE's camera crew even took a picture of this moment and they published it on their Raw gallery, which lets us know that this is an important moment that we're going to have to remember for down the line. So WWE seems to be teasing a relationship between Aaliyah and Murphy. There are a few things wrong with this possible relationship, so let's get into that right now. The obvious one that fans noticed right away was the difference in age. Even though it'll just be an on-screen relationship, Aaliyah is 19 and Murphy is turning 32 in a few weeks. So fans can't help but point out the 13-year difference between this new possible couple of Aaliyah and Murphy. The age difference is definitely ginormous with a 13-year age gap. So that's one main issue that fans pointed out immediately. But besides that age issue, there's another storyline issue here as well that I think doesn't make any sense. Murphy is responsible and played a major role in Rey Mysterio's massive eye injury. He's responsible for a majority of things that happened to Dominic. He literally was second in command to everything that happened to Rey Mysterio's family over the last few months. In what world does it make sense for Aaliyah to go up and comfort Murphy? I mean, he was literally Seth Rollins' main henchman that did all those horrible things to the Rey Mysterio family. Literally the week before the cage match, Murphy was on the Titantron talking about all the things he was going to do to Dominic to make him pay. The Mysterio family, including Aaliyah, even closed out Raw that same week by hitting Murphy literally 86 times with a kendo stick. So how does she go from hitting him 86 times with a kendo stick to feeling sorry for him the very next week? Doesn't make sense, and we need a good explanation for that. Seth Rollins' little attack there on Murphy after the cage match was nothing compared to the beatdown Murphy got from Aaliyah and the Mysterio family the week prior, so I really don't understand the mindset of Aaliyah's character for checking on Murphy like that. I don't know about anyone else, but Seth Rollins abandoning Murphy doesn't automatically turn Murphy into a sympathetic character for me. It doesn't erase all those horrible things that Murphy did to the Rey Mysterio family. Aaliyah's reaction should have been to just walk right past Murphy because he deserved that attack. But for her to completely forget about everything he's done to her family just because Seth Rollins abandoned him seems like the most unexplainable writing decision in this story so far. But maybe that's the idea that WWE is going for here. Maybe it's a heel turn for Aaliyah. Maybe she'll continue to flirt with Murphy and her family will confront her about it and remind her about all the things that he's done to them. Honestly, Aaliyah feeling bad for Murphy may be the only way to continue this feud with a fresh story being thrown in. The overall feel I get from the community on social media is that fans are burnt out of the Mysterio family versus Seth Rollins storyline, and understandably so. It's been going on since May, and besides the new inclusion of Aaliyah and Angie in recent weeks, WWE hasn't added much new things to the feud. It's just been constant rematches between Dominic, Seth Rollins, and Murphy. So they either have to end the story here or maybe throw in that big Aaliyah and Murphy twist to freshen it up because I agree with the community. I think this entire feud is starting to run on fumes. Even though the Aaliyah and Murphy relationship is a bad idea because of the 13 year age difference and the fact that it makes no sense storyline wise, at least it gives us confirmation that Aaliyah will be sticking around as a regular character. 
So we'll see how her family addresses that Murphy moment in the future. Miro, formerly known as Rusev in the WWE, just made his return to pro wrestling with AEW. It was a huge moment that went trending on social media, and some of the words he said during his promo picked up some attention as well. Miro recently spoke with Busted Open Radio, and I wanted to go over his comments that he said there, because I feel like the main thing that he was fearing just happened on Raw this week. Miro discussed that he hopes his AEW appearance and career doesn't hurt Lana's WWE career, and they made her pay the price for it. He had this to say, Absolutely. At the same time, they should be professional and treat it as it is. It's nothing personal. It's a business. Hopefully they treat it like that. I hope that it won't hurt her. I pray everything will be fine and we should move on. You gather feelings over the years. I'm usually positive and I never like to talk about bad stuff about anybody just because we've all done bad stuff. But there's a certain time where you've put all your heart and story into certain things and you don't feel like it's coming to fruition for one reason or another. It was so disheartening over the years, so I have to, thanks to Chris Jericho. I told him my idea and he said, you should say that about the brass ring. I was like, do I ask for forgiveness after? He was like, no, you don't have to ask for anything. You just do it. It's a good promo. I was so shocked because it's a different style. It was important for me to say because I meant all of these things. I needed to do one second to express my frustrations over the past 10 years, then move on. Miro ended up doing exactly that, with his AEW promo being filled with jabs towards WWE. But Jericho said that they felt like Miro had to address where he was coming from and then leave it alone. Miro won't mention WWE on AEW television going forward, but the damage might have already been done. So Miro's fear was that WWE doesn't take out their frustrations with him on Lana. Well, take a look at this week's Raw. Lana took the loss for her match on Raw, was attacked after the match, and then was thrown into the commentary table by Nia Jax. So, is that a subtle little response to Miro by destroying his wife on WWE television, making her lose the match and be thrown through a table just one week after his AEW debut? I guess we won't ever know for sure, but the way those events took place, it leads many to believe that what happened to Lana on Raw could be related to what Miro was talking about. There are a lot of couples in the same sort of situation. One of them is in WWE and the other one is in AEW. And it must make things so weird for the ones that are in WWE. You're here with WWE while your significant other is trashing the company on AEW. That's always going to be an awkward situation right there. We'll have to keep a close eye on Lana in these next few weeks. If she continues to suffer that same fate as she did on Raw this past week, then we might know what's up. But what are your thoughts on the tease between Aaliyah and Murphy, as well as how Lana was treated after Miro's debut? Do you think Miro's debut played a part in what happened to Lana? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram as well at WrestlingWorldCC. Thanks for watching, guys.